From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather tonight. Fred Gossett here in the Home Weather Center on this Thursday night with a final check of your local weather before you head to bed. Cloudy skies, evening showers dissipating now, but cloudy skies through the overnight hours. Hovering in the 30s until after midnight, then we drop down into the 20s. And it may be that we hit our daytime highs on Friday during the morning into the mid to upper 20s and then drop into the lower 20s by the afternoon as Arctic air rushes in on strong northwest winds tomorrow despite a little bit of sunshine as we head through the day. Winter weather advisory through the rest of tonight expiring at 9 a.m. in the morning. It's for the freezing rain and drizzle we've had earlier today and how that has aggravated already poor travel conditions across the area. So if you don't have to be out don't get out. I know that some people can't help it, and we completely understand that. But if you don't have to be, don't travel out. And I'll be honest with you, especially on the secondary and less treated roads, the hilly roads, the roads to get shading, we may not thaw those out until sometime on Monday when we're into the 40s with sunshine across the area. So we have a ways to go before everywhere travel problems are finally cleared up. Here's future cast for the overnight and going on into your Friday, you see the drizzle and showers moving off to the east. Cloudy skies sticking with us, dropping into the mid to upper 20s toward daybreak. And then the stronger northwest winds bringing Arctic air in tomorrow. It's a case where we hit the daytime highs before midday tomorrow. And then we drop into the afternoon. We'll be in the lower 20s by the afternoon, dropping into the teens towards sunset. And I think most all of us are going to make the low to mid single digits as we head toward daybreak on our Saturday morning. And if the wind goes calm, I'm not sure it will, but if the wind can go calm by daybreak on Saturday, where we have the deepest snow and ice, I wouldn't rule out some areas near zero. So the lower single digits look like a good bet. As we head on into our Saturday, a mix of sun and clouds. More clouds and sun on Sunday, but we get more of a southeasterly wind. We briefly get above freezing for the afternoon on our Sunday and then the thaw starts Monday into the 40s and then the 50s and 60s after that. And rain moving in next week, which will also help clear things up as well. Here's the temperature trend for the next seven days. Downright cold over the weekend, 20s tonight, 20s tomorrow. And that 28s during the morning. We're in the lower 20s by the afternoon, dropping into the low to mid single digits for Friday night, Saturday night. Struggle to hit 20 degrees on Saturday. We're briefly above freezing there on Sunday afternoon and with some sunshine that will start helping some of the roadways, but some refreezing overnight Sunday night in the 20s. And then the big thaw starts Monday into the 40s. And then notice next week, starting Monday night, even the overnight lows are well above freezing. So once we get to Monday, things are going to start clearing up. And definitely, once we get the rain in here starting Monday night and especially toward the middle of next week, as you'll see on the 7 day in a moment, we actually have some thunder showers in the forecast with those 60s coming next, thir next Thursday. No sign of severe weather, but it's a sign that warmer air is on the way. Here's your overnight forecast here. Cloudy to mostly cloudy as we head through the rest of tonight and toward daybreak, getting down to the mid to upper 20s during the morning hours of Friday. And that's likely our daytime high as we head into our Friday, here's your breakdown here. Getting into the upper 20s to lower 30s across the area and then dropping quickly through the 20s and eventually on down into the teens and then for overnight lows into the single digits as we head into our Friday night, Saturday morning. Struggling to hit 20 as we get into the afternoon on Saturday despite sunshine. Above freezing by the afternoon for Sunday, but we get back down to the 20s overnight. So what does thaw will likely refreeze some. And then the full thaw starts on Monday as we get into the 40s. Monday night, only down to the upper 30s. So the real thaw begins early next week. Showers moving in starting late Monday night, continuing on through Tuesday and Wednesday. And maybe a few thunder showers on the way as we head into Thursday as highs get into the 60s. There's the latest seven-day forecast. Ben Luna's with you tomorrow morning with all your latest local weather.